Okay. Yep. Okay, so, so morning uh, routine. What I would recommend for a morning routine. Um, um, from what I do, I mean, <clears throat> well, first I'll, I'll tell you what my morning routine is. Um, I do, uh, every morning I get on my knees and I do quite a few prayers, 12-step uh, prayers. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and uh, I also do, we do the Course in Miracles here in this group, which is, which is basically a mystical teaching of connecting to the source, but it does use Christian languaging. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, but it is, I do a lot of, like, cancelling of beliefs, uh, God did not create stuff. Uh, we'll be talking about that later on, but I'll do quite a lot of those. Uh, I'll also do a number of prayers for people, you know, uh, that, I, I pray for those I love, and I pray for those who are my enemies. But both of them equally get my prayers. And uh, <clears throat> then I do the Course in Miracles. So I will. Um, uh, the Course in Miracles is 365 spiritual lessons to let go of the ego. And I'll do my lesson of the day, read the lesson of the day, and do five minutes of uh, uh, basically feel the feelings and observer, with a little bit of contemplation on the lesson of the day just to release stuff. Now, what I recommend, but also, um, I also do the 12 steps, you know, usually on, uh, on the tube, uh, I'll do like a gratitude list, which is 12 step tools, what I'm grateful for. I'll do like a, a step 10, which is like a spiritual inventory, just a little reflection of how my behavior and conduct's been. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day uh, and uh, then so those things uh, that that's my morning routine I think it's really really important and I say this especially for addicts because I help a lot of people with addiction problems is like the very first thing you should do in the day is try and connect to the source connect to God connect to that should because that's representative of what's the most important thing in your life like, you know, I talk to people with food issues, food addiction issues, and like the first thing they'll do, they'll try and eat, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like the first thing they, because they're addicted. Mm -hmm. So they'll get up, and then in their head, they'll be like, food. Okay. You know? And so they, they run for the food, like, and, then, and then I say, like, no, because, you know, God or the source has to be the first thing in your day. Mm -hmm. Because that means that the most important thing when you woke up in the morning was your addiction. It was not the source. So I say, no, you're not allowed to have food first. You must get on or TV or coffee or cigarettes or whatever. It can't be the first thing. You know, get, you know, connect to source, do your prayers, meditation, routines. I get on my knees. Because it's so symbolic for, you know, and actually life is symbolic. Everything is symbolic, you know, even with people. You know, like, if there is a source and you put everything before that, and how are you going to connect to the source? You know, it's not like you know, it has to be. It has to be like that. So, so getting that that connection to source is really important. It has to be the first thing. Like, I will not eat, put on the TV, you know, or anything like that until until those things are done. So that's the thing with uh, morning routine. If you're in early days, or if you're very spiritually disconnected, you should increase the time of your morning routine. If you're a lot of fear and anxiety or you're undergoing terror, then um, you should increase the time to sit with those feelings, uh, to pray, to release, to cancel beliefs, because you have more processing to do. Well, when you have less processing, you can just do your regular routine. When you have more processing, because um, uh, you know, the lev your level of consciousness, your vibration, your spiritual connection to source, it will be the most important thing as to how your day goes. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, your whole day is aligned. Like we do A Course in Miracles, like for the whole universe to take care of you is dependent on your connection to the source. So everybody knows who's done spiritual work is like, when you become disconnected from the source, like everything goes wrong in your day. You know, it's like everything you fear happens, yes. you know, and when you're connected to source, 
it's like everything effortlessly goes in your, in your favor. Mm -hmm. I was in a spiritual meeting earlier today and I was, I was sharing about it. It's like when you're connected to the source, and this is how I share it, <coughs> all the buses arrive on time. Yes. When you're connected to source, yes. I mean, I, I, I shared it in this way. Yes. I was trying to share it to this group of people, like what it's like to be connected to God or the source, yes. and what it's like to be in your ego, full of fear, yes. and that it's not a comparison. Mm. You know, yes. and people when they're in their fear are chasing external solutions mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. relief. Yes. You know, like, you know, or if you know, if I was more successful, or if I had a, a girlfriend, or if, if um, whatever, I could move to another country, then I'll be happy because I'm in so much terror. And it's like, no, if you're in so much terror and disconnection, you need the connection of source and inner peace. Yes. Then, and then when you have that peace, it's like all of life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then everything is like the whole universe conspires to look after you. Mm -hmm. And like everyone knows, I mean, everyone's had those, those days when you're in like the timeless now. Mm -hmm. and it's like every bus arrives on time and it's mm -hmm. like the universe loves you mm -hmm. and you're one with the universe yes. and mm -hmm. so so this is the thing with the morning routine as well mm -hmm. so if you're like in terror when you wake up the, the thing that will affect your day for the most positive is to do as much as you can to reconnect you see mm -hmm. and if your ego says look I haven't got time to do my morning routine sure because, uh, you know, I need to check some locations for a new holiday, you know. You know, because I'm in so much fear, I need to go to the Bahamas or whatever. Yes. You know? So forget, forget meditating or whatever. That's the worst thing to do, because you've just gone into an external solution mm -hmm. based on fear, mm -hmm. and that will not work. It'll give you a short-term thing, because you'll obsess about the holiday, and for the first few days, mm -hmm. Like we hear, I mean, in the 12 step programs I go, that we call them geographicals. Because, mm -hmm. like, addicts have like really crazy fear based addictive heads, and they'll go and live in another country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. they'll be like, they'll, they'll be happy for about two or three months. And then they say the same thing, like, my head caught up, you know, came back. And they're just as miserable in a new country as they were in the old country, because it's only like a short-term thing. Oh, yes. And then all the fears and anxieties and everything, they come, they come back again. Mm -hmm. And 